Hi, just thought I'd do a quick teardown of uh, two uh, lead constant current lead drivers uh, that failed at home. These are uh, 20 watt jobbies, or at least we've got the 20 watt nominal uh, lead lights in theirs. And these are actually were the two most used lights in the house, the kitchen and the uh, entry uh, way to our side garage. And this one here was actually a uh, used, this one's, well, they're both dimmable actually, but this one was actually used with a dimmer. Uh, and this one wasn't. That was just a straight uh, 20 watt uh, lead. And they're both uh, very similar specs. They're both uh, 500 milliamps uh, constant current uh, rough. Or this one's slightly under, smidge under. Uh, from I think I measured the operating voltage of this string because uh, it varies with the constant current driver. Of course, the output voltage is not constant. That's a constant voltage uh, generator. This is constant current, so the output voltage will change up to the maximum compliance voltage, which here is uh, 47 volts, and this one has 45 volts. And they're both uh, loose brand which is I, like they're supposed to be like reasonable quality uh, lights they are made in China um, and well yeah both of them failed this one here was like intermittent so it had like a like, like thermally maybe but I could never sort of pin it down it'd just like go off occasionally after like half an hour an hour or something or in some days it'd just stay on it'd work fine uh, and it'd always come good if you reset the power so there was no wackers uh, there but we eventually got jack of it and this one here was similar it started to go a bit intermittent uh, and once again it would usually but not always reset when you uh, reset the power and eventually just uh, like died completely it'd very rarely uh, work at all so anyway um, a power factor 0.9 so it must have some uh, power factory correction in it and this one as well greater than 0.9 so yeah that's all right anyway i thought we'd uh, tear them down this one looks like it's uh, this is not going to be a repair by the way i just want to have a look inside um so that one looks like it might is it clipped in or is that like ultrasonically welded or something there's a bit of a crack there this bad boy though it is potted. Look at this. It looks like, well, it looks like the majority of it's uh, potted. So, yeah, it doesn't look terrific, does it? But um, I suspect that is not a burn mark. That's just like some sort of fluxy residue left over, I suspect, from the uh, manufacturer of this thing. But anyway, it's a double-sided lower surface mount on the bottom, through hole on the top. So let's wedge this out and see what we've got and it, I think it is fully potted it kind of feels like it and it's heavy as well so oh yeah yep 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 there we go <laughs> and it's molded itself to the there you go molded itself to the inside of that and it's completely potted brick once it like I'm not sure why you would bother um these are indoor enclosure ones like unfortunately like these um uh, these are like these enclosed like oyster tight like big round oyster you know large like 30 centimeter diameter oyster things one foot for you yanks diameter uh, lights and they don't get any airflow at all so there's nothing in them so yeah these things do tend to uh, have a problem getting the heat out and well that silicon stuff is not going to help anyone it's a uh, it's a rubber baby buggy bump oh look at that <laughs> beautiful so it's a rubber baby buggy bump but you can actually get that out so that's actually that's not too bad but that would not be I, I don't think leave it in the comments down below if you do actually know the exact type and brand of this uh potty rubber baby buggy bumper cotton potting compound but anyway i'll do my best to try and get all this out and have a look at the board but yeah i don't think that is thermally conductive if you do know leave it in the comments you can see that a bit of it has stuck down to the board but it actually comes off fairly easily in big chunks it's gone through obviously that coil there but it does actually oh check it out there we go oh look at that oh there we go we've got a cap what brand is that won't be good, of course. I think they're built down to a price. Yeah, as far as potting compound goes, you can actually at least get this off if you absolutely needed to. I'm getting there. Um, for those who want to know the age, I would have put it at about eight years. And yep, as a date of uh, 2013 down there, um, I, I don't know, they could have been 2014. I thought they were a bit earlier than that. But 
Anyway, it can't be, so... So, eight years isn't too bad for something that's used, like, every, for many, many hours every day in a non-vented uh, enclosure where there's no airflow whatsoever. So, you know, I can't complain too much, I guess. But, of course, you always get what you pay for. Not that these were uh, particularly cheap. You know, the whole fitting was, like, you know triple digits or something, um, I'm not sure, once again, they're supposed to be a fairly reputable brand at least, but, you know, these things, yeah, they are, are always, uh, almost always built down to a price. I'm kind of sort of getting there, but, you know, it's, <laughs> you can spend hours actually getting every last bit out, but anyway, interestingly, the caps don't seem to have any bulges on them, having it potted in there wouldn't actually prevent any bulges if there was uh, any pressure build up but of course uh, that doesn't mean that uh, it's not the caps but anyway have a look at the bottom I can't find any info readily if I can in the edit I will uh, insert that but I couldn't readily find any info, info on that but anyway we've got our mains input here you can see that it's physically separated there's no actual uh, slot in there but that's all tight so anyway, we've got our mains input here. Uh, we do actually have, that looks like a Fusey. I'm not sure what the value is. We've got ourselves an X-Class uh, cap there. And that there is our common mode choke. We've got our uh, traditional full wave bridge rectifier. And uh, it looks like this, I think this trace going over to here and this going over to this power trendy in there I think that's doing your power factor correction there because anyway you may switching transistors over on this side over here so and then our actual uh, switching transformer is here it's got some wires going over and this is of course the secondary side output and there does not to seem to be any secondary regulation there and I've done videos on this before but uh, yeah no secondary side regulation that's relatively common in these uh, it's doing primary side uh, current regulation and well that's about it so nothing's obviously uh, blown but as I said this was sort of like failed intermittently so you know who knows like could be there could be a joint in there somewhere a dodgy uh, joint that's failing thermally I don't know this is not a repair I'm not going to investigate it I just wanted to tear it down and see What's what? And what are those brand caps, by the way? They're actually a uh, Ashi 105 degree rated part, so yeah, it could be worse. Well, yeah, that plastic's come a bit, bit brittle. I could, I think I can pull that off. Oh yeah, there we go. Anyway, yeah, it was clips, and ta-da, we're in. Oh look at that. Jeez, there's a fair amount of capacitance in that bad boy, isn't there? Once again, we've got the uh, same brand uh, Ashai caps in there, 105 degree C rated, so they're actually okay. And if you smell it, oh yeah, it's got that, that crusty failed electronic smell. <laughs> I don't, can't explain it, you just know it when you smell it. So all that uh, capacitance, that's all on the output stage here. Look at it, it's absolutely enormous and We've got an output uh, regulator here as well. I couldn't, I scraped that off, couldn't get the uh, number on that. But uh, yeah, anyway, so this has like proper output uh, regulation. So no workers whatsoever. It's practically it's almost, unless it's under the heatsink, there's almost no capacitance on the input here. Oh, it's, it's going to be naff all. Anyway, it looks like maybe, is that a fuse or a fusible resistor there on the input? Here's our, we've got a bridge rectifier, do we? Then we've got some chokies and our X-Class caps and everything else. So yeah, there we go, all fully rated. All the electrons are gonna fall out, it's upside down. But uh, there's our controller. I can't see a number on that at all. So yeah, I don't know what they're, don't know what's doing there. But I got a decent sized heatsink in this thing. Damn, can't get that screw out. I stripped it. So yeah, I couldn't be bothered getting that out. Um, but there's really nothing doing under there at all. So the primary side is, uh, of course, that's the main uh, switching transistor there. Um, yeah, but it's all, all the regulation. Totally different to the other design. It's all done on the secondary. But 
once again, um, what's causing the failure here? Like the cap's looking good, Nick. You could get in there and measure the ESR of the caps and something like that. But because you've got so many of them in parallel here, I really wouldn't expect, like, you know, if one failed, like, it's not going to cause the problems that we actually uh, see here, like the thing actually um, switching off. A secondary side caps isn't really going to uh, cause that. So, yeah, um, I suspect, yeah, something thermally um, has gone wrong on the uh, primary side here. I mean, it could be, you know, those little electrodes in there. It doesn't have to be the big uh, filter caps, little uh, control electrodes as part of that. Uh, if they go, then uh, you would certainly suspect something like that. I mean, if you were trying to troubleshoot and repair this, of course, you would uh, replace any electrolytics on the primary sides, that's for sure. And looks like there's probably only one. Huh. Anyway, this ain't a repair video. There you go. That's just a quick and dirty nothing burger second channel video. For these two lead drivers, uh, they've been failing for quite some time and we finally got jack of them. I actually had a lot of trouble trying to get a fi 500 milliamp constant current uh, driver here in Australia with uh, a suitable compliance uh, voltage and everything in the form factor um, that actually would uh, actually fit uh, both of these and have uh, dimmable as well. But I did found one. I actually got it from uh, Farnells in the UK. So, I, yeah, go figure. Um, I, I did actually try to order one locally, but then, like, the company said that they had... Uh, stock of it and then they just never delivered and I followed up and said hey where's my thing and they went oh sorry we'll refund you you know uh, yeah thanks a lot so yeah wasted uh, weeks sort of waiting for that and then I had to get it uh, from Farnells from the UK but um, yes yeah, surprisingly like even like my my local electrical uh, trades shop didn't have a suitable 500 milliamp constant current driver with the compliance voltage in the form factor required. So that was rather annoying that I couldn't really find anything here. Um, I'm sure somebody will leave a link down below to one. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it was really annoying. Couldn't find it. Anyway, there you go. Quick and dirty teardown of some failed LED lights. And of course, yeah, it's the, the two most uh, used lights in the house. They're the ones that failed. So, you know, Eh, when you don't have airflow on these things and the thermals aren't great, they can be 105 degrees C rated, but yeah, they've, that only like increases their lifetime. It's They still have a finite lifetime in caps and stuff like that. Or, you know, once again, I don't know if those little ones down in there are suitably uh, rated or whatnot, but even if they are, yeah, these poor things in these um, sealed oyster type arrangements and down lights and other things, they really have a hard time thermally so it's not surprising to see these uh things fail but anyway yeah this is not a one hung low one this is um supposedly it's like an okay brand i don't know lucci obviously don't manufacture it. it's manufactured by some oem somewhere if you do know leave it in the comments anyway you know what to do catch you next time